Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is JP, CEO of Beyond Fitness and Fashion. How's everyone doing on this beautiful Sunday? Um, the reason why I'm wearing a big jacket, big coat on, is because I'm wearing a vest and I don't want to be out exposing myself, you know? Um, if I was wearing a t shirt, I'd have worn my body warmer, whatever it's called, my sleeveless coat. I don't know what it's called, sleeveless jacket, whatever it's called. Yeah, I'd be wearing that, but I'm not. So, yeah. Um, I'm very body conscious, so I do have body dysphoria when it comes to wearing sleeveless tops, you know, especially right now I'm just like going for a walk, um, but as I said, if I'm wearing a t-shirt, I'm fine, it's just that when you're not, when you're just wearing a vest, yeah, that's when my dysphoria comes, like kicks in strong. Yes, it's almost that time, only a few more days before our big exclusive launch night. Well, soft launch night, I should say. Um, I am looking forward to it. Thank you to everyone that's got their tickets already. I'm going to put um, a little teaser um, after this video. Yeah, I had an email from someone yesterday saying to me, Oh, your thumbnail's not looking great. You know, this that I never I can help you. They didn't introduce themselves, they didn't tell me nothing about themselves. They're just emailing me out of the blue. And I was like, I don't care about um subscribe, you know, caring about the about the the paper or any of that stuff. If I really cared about the paper, like I said, I'd put more effort into my videos. I'll make it, you know, do challenges, do pranks. Do all that type of stuff to please everybody else, you know, because I'm a people pleaser. I'm not a people pleaser. I never have been, never will be. Therefore, if you subscribe to my channel, great. If you don't, it is what it is. It's not the end of the world. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to fucking cry about it, <laughs> you know? Um, so that person coming to me and telling me... Oh, one second. Yeah, so the person emailing me, telling me, oh, you know, um, I've looked at your business as well. You should um, go onto Facebook and promote it on there. I was like, so Facebook's fake. Facebook is fake, faker than anything. I was promoting on Facebook. I had a business page on there and they removed it and I was managing it properly because I was paying for ads I was doing everything I was supposed to be doing and Facebook decided to remove my page, my business page, for no reason whatsoever. And yes, I was paying ads to promote my products, on, to promote my business on there. Do you know what I mean? I was doing all that. And he was like, oh, well, I could help you um, to promote and do this to any other. Again, no, no idea who he was. So I messaged him back, emailed him back and said, First of all, when you're emailing someone, you introduce yourself, yeah? You introduce yourself, you say, hello, oh god. You start off with like, because it's an email, so you start off with, um, dear sir, good morning, good morning, good morning, how are you? Hope this email finds you well, you know, I've been looking at your stuff and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, no, my name is such and such. This is what I'm a, such a product, I do this, that and the other. And this is what I'm about, where, where, where you introduce yourself, you tell people what you're about, and then you get into the business side of things, yeah? That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Excuse me. You run a business, you're supposed to do that. I run a business, have done for two and a half years now. I know how it works, you know? One time. So, it's like, I don't know, he was just emailing me and I was like, I don't trust you because first thing you do is you don't tell me who you are. I don't know who you are. He was like, oh, um, I run a successful business. I have done for years. You can check out the reviews and stuff. I was like, I don't care. 
I doubt the reviews and shit, yeah? Just, I, I don't care about the reviews. Anyone can make a review. You can get loads of people. If you've got, you know, you, you can pay people to review for you. You can get, you know, you can ask your friends and family to do reviews for you multiple times on multiple accounts. Reviews don't mean shit to me. Do you understand? It's you I'm talking to. You mess emailed me, therefore, who are you? Because you're giving me red flags right now. Con um, literally. So he was like, oh, um, you know, I've done this. I can get you, I can boost your, your business. I can boost your YouTube channel, whatever. Because I said, my YouTube channel is a reality, yeah? I was like, I don't care about, I care about, people want to subscribe, they subscribe, that's amazing. I'm grateful for all the subscribers. I'm grateful for the 95 people that has subscribed. I'm grateful for the day ones. The people subscribe to my channel from day one and hasn't left. You might not like my stuff, you might not, whatever, but you're still there. Do you get it? So that's what I care about. I care about support, yeah? Anyone can subscribe to a channel and not support you. Anyone can, anyone can do this to any other and still not be legit. Do you understand? Um, because I didn't do it for the paper, yeah? Because anyone can do it for the paper. I don't care about going viral. I've always said that from day one. I said to people, I will never go viral. Why? Because I'm honest. I'm re I live in reality. I don't do pranks. I don't do challenges. I don't follow the trend. Do you get it? There's a too many waste people out there that follow the trend. If you don't act like this person, you can't be their friend. Or if you don't behave this way, they don't want to know you. You're not going to get that support. If you're fake, yes, you will get supported. Fake people always get support. Real people don't. That's just how it is. And real people don't have many friends either. It's as simple as that. That's just the truth of it. And because I'm outspoken, I tell it how it is, people don't like it. Not my problem, that's yours at the end of the day. Do you understand? It's got nothing to do with me, how you feel about me. I don't know you, so it's irrelevant. You get it. Because when I'm dead, I'm not going to care that, you know? Um, so why should I allow it to affect me now? But, um, yeah, so he was just like, oh, you need to do so I goes, no, I don't. I don't need to do any of it. I don't need to do none of that. I was paying for ads on Facebook. I was paying for ads on Instagram. Instagram removed my accounts because someone reported it. Someone reported my account on Facebook and on Instagram. That's why my accounts, my pages got taken. Excuse me, that's why my business pages got taken down because some twat reported it. I know who it is. It's obvious, you know. I lost multiple business accounts. I've lost my influence account on there because of the same person. Do you know what I'm saying? So, therefore, why would I want? Why would I waste money on pr promoting on Facebook and Instagram? Yeah, when they're just going to take my account down anyway. Someone's just going. Someone's not going to be. Someone's not going to like what I do, like what I say, and try and cancel me. That's just how it works. Yeah, people are jealous and people are hateful, and I'd rather just do what I'm doing, stick to what I'm doing. than to meet all these standard people and shit. Do you understand? And not only that, but I'm not gonna cross because car's too speedy for me. Um, yeah. And I turn around and also said, why the hell would I want to waste money on ads that don't work for me? Do you understand? I was putting money on Google as well. You know that, I was paying money on Google. I was doing exactly the same thing. And I was getting treated like shit. So, why am I going to put money into something when I'm not valued? I'm not valued, I'm not appreciated, yeah? 
Um, it, is, it is what it is, do you know what I'm saying? The people that I've spoken to, they've been in the same situation where they put money into a business, not a business, but Google or Facebook or Instagram, and they get nowhere with that. Um, I spent, we're spending 400 pound a month on ads alone, literally. On ads alone, I'll spend 400 quid a month. Sometimes 500, 550, for what? You know? So I turn around and said to him, I'm not wasting putting money into something, and then I get treated like shit again, and I've wasted all my money. Do you understand? Yes, business is business, but I deserve respect. Every business out there deserves respect. Every business out there, and every person out there, deserve the right support and the right and the and the right sources. Do you understand? If you're not if you're not supporting me, if you're not respecting me, why should I? And like I said, I don't trust you because you just came into my you just emailed me without even introducing yourself. Who does that? You send an email. You say you run a business. Is that how you talk to people? You send emails, but you don't introduce yourself. You don't tell people who you are, where you're from, what company you're at. I have to ask you, who are you? What, what's your company? Another person email, um, sent me a message, security company for an event on Friday that I'm very sussed about. They were like, oh, um, we do security for this, that, and the other. Not, hello, how are you? My name is such and such. I got your number from such and such. Um, do, you know, are you looking for security or whatever? Person hasn't told me who they was, what security company they work for, how long they've been in the business, um, whereabouts they're based, what kind of security work they do, because there's so many securities, security jobs out there, so I don't know. Um, and they've not, like, when I, mess, eat, when I send a text to people, WhatsApp and whatever, I always, or even on Insta, I always start off with, hello, how are you? My name is such and such. Um, such certain, certain people get, person gave me your number. Uh, are you free to talk? And then I wait for a reply. And an email, and the security keeps messaging me. I blocked them now because I don't know who they are. You're sending me messages, but you're not telling me, you're not telling me who gave you my number. I asked them. Where did you get my number from? Where did you get my number from? I got no response. And I was like, okay, what's your name? Then he's, then he's holding me his name. I'm like, okay, but where did you get my number from? Because I've never spoken to you before. I never gave you my number. So how did you get my number? No response. And it just kept on talking about, oh, this is the prices of um, security. Just let me know when you need us. I was like, I never said I was booking you. I never said I was booking you as a security. I don't know who you are. You're not, to you, you're not telling me where you got my number from. I don't trust people like that. Do you know what I mean? Yes, you're messaging me on my business phone, but how do I know you're legit? Think about it. Guys, I'm gonna leave it here and I will catch you very soon. Please get your tickets. ASAP before they run out. I'm gonna, like I said, I'll attach the link um, the next video. You'll see it. I like a little teaser, and also I will um, drop all the information in the description below. So if you if you like it, please like, share, comment, subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you do, great. If not, you know, no hard feelings. It is what it is. I will talk to you guys very very soon. Um, yeah, I'm out. Look, yo, violent, violent, them man, they wanna act so violent. violent. And see one man, them riding bitches, ask me, yo, boy, where's your man? Them? No, no. Half these people are fakers, they wanna act like takers. They wanna act so violent, see one man, them riding, right? I'm making this friend of a faker. Them man, they don't know my pain, but stand by lane. Writing, writing, ain't got time for waiting. Same man, who still hate on Monday.